Good afternoon, CNPC family. Each year on April 22nd, we look forward to something, but it didn't happen this year. It didn't happen on April 23rd or on April 24th, but finally, on April 25th, it happened. Uh, by the way, if you know that song reference or the group, that's bonus points, you let me know about that. All right, so what happened? Uh, one of the most beautiful birds to visit our backyard the rose-breasted grosbeak showed up. Uh, here's a picture of what he looks like. Doesn't really do justice to him. He's uh, much uh, redder than that. Uh, but he, he shows up each year about the same day. Uh, doesn't stay long before he moves on to slightly uh, cooler climate. Then in the fall, he'll stop back by again on his way back to the tropics. Isn't that amazing? Each spring, each fall, for just a few days, almost the exact same day, the same bird feeder in the same backyard here in Northeast Georgia. It's truly amazing how God has made all uh, his, of his creatures, the beauty, their survival skills, the migration patterns. There's a, a lot of variety in what God makes them up. Backyard, if you were here long enough, you'd see woodpeckers and cardinals, and blue jays, purple finches, goldfinches, sparrows, chickadees, Carolina wren, brown thrashers, towies, uh, doves, hawks, hummingbirds. And yes, we're waiting for a beautiful indigo bunting to stop by any day now. Do you remember what Jesus said about the birds in Matthew? In chapter 6, he said, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you'll eat or what you'll drink, nor about your body. What you will put on is not life more than food and the body more than clothes. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns that your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valued than they are? He also talks about the birds in Matthew 10. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your Father. But even the hairs on your head are numbered. Fear not, therefore, you are of more value than the sparrows. Now, it's interesting that both times Jesus uses birds as his illustration, he's talking about anxiety and fear. Both of those are our concerns. But here's the lesson. Given God's concern for the birds, we also can know that he cares for us. For example, I know uh, he cares that some of you are lonely. Let me urge you, if you are, reach out to someone. You can call, text, email me. I'll call you. We'll see if we can connect you with others that you can talk with. I know we all have some fear and anxiety about what's next, what the future holds. I would urge us to read God's Word. Uh, check back and look at Dee's devotional yesterday about reading God's Word and see what other members of the CMPC family are, are reading about right now, what they're finding to be helpful. And of course, pray for others. That's a way to, to think about other people, be concerned for them, for, pray for protection, for healing, for comfort. Pray for healthcare workers, for researchers, for our, our leaders. Pray for those under financial pressure. Uh, pray for revival in the church and a great awakening in our culture and our nation and our world. And again, reach out to others. I mean, we're here to comfort and encourage one another. We're the body of Christ. We're, we're family. We love each other. Uh, and God comforts us so that we can comfort one another. Uh, true, if, if God cares for the birds, how much more does He, in fact, care for us? I know that it's going to be raining later today, but when it clears up, take some time to sit outside or sit on your porch or just look out the window and watch the birds. And remember, God's watching them too. And God's watching over you. Have a great rest of your day.